This deck has been performing exceptionally for some people, so I wanted to give it a spin and see if it was good or if it was just a bot farmer. And uh, well, my consensus is it's pretty dang good. It is not very easy to play, I would say. There's a lot of planning that needs to go into are you going to lock a lane down? Which lane are you going to commit to? What lane do you think your opponent's going to commit to? Which lane do you storm? Do you Spider-Man on 4 into an X? Or do you Spider-Man on 5? And then on 6, you could do a Gamora and a Rocket Raccoon. That's one of my favorite things to do with this deck. Uh, we do have Jeff, which can jump around to an X lane or a shutdown lane from Storm. Jeff is fantastic here. If you do not have Jeff, you could try Lizard. I think that's a huge downgrade to the deck. Uh, Jeff, I, I don't know why Jeff is like super popular all of a sudden and he's very good. I guess I do know why. It's because there's a lot of Professor X and Lockdown going on at the moment. So if Lockdown falls out of popularity, Jeff will probably also fall out of popularity. It's hard to recommend spending 6,000 tokens on Jeff. He will be downgraded to Series 4 in June and to Series 3 in September. So that's pretty far away. Uh, maybe he's worth 3,000 tokens. Hard to call for 6,000, especially when we have stuff like High Evolutionary coming out now. Well, in a, a few weeks. Daredevil's fantastic, so you can perfectly time your X or your Spider-Man. Nebula is good just to play into a lane, and then you can maybe predict your Rocket and your Star-Lord. But also just using Nebula on like a Stormed lane can often just win that lane, or locking your Nebula behind an X often just wins it. Uh, one of my favorite things is put a little power in one lane, put a good amount of power in another lane, lock down with Professor X, then on turn six, you do Gamora and Rocket Raccoon in the lane that you need to win because your opponent will put all their stuff there, but Gamora, Rocket Raccoon, that's 16 power in one turn. Um, so yeah, really been enjoying this one, won a lot of cubes, took Dara to infinite very quickly. This is Dara's build, uh, a lot of people finding success with it, but a lot of people are also just not doing too hot with it so maybe uh make sure you're playing it right um there's a bit of a learning curve so you might lose your first couple games but after that you might pick it up and do quite well but yeah i hope you enjoy good luck on ladder and stay hydrated and paid ten dollars for the monkey uh I, monkey is totally worth it okay that's 24 this wins left we have to hard commit mid we storm right on the last turn. Spider right. If I play rocket there, we're able to move it. They just move mid. If I storm it. This is the line. You guys got to believe. Neighborhood Spider -Man here. We want them to commit further, right? This is still looking like we can win, right? Damn. See, because we could Gamora and possibly win, right? But we just storm. I need... How much do I need left? I'm thinking if they doom. Do you guys think they ever doom? This is why I'm leaving Enchantress left. But I think they might not doom. They never doom. They never doom. That's why we wanted to do it the last turn. Wind, aid my hand. Don't overcommit to the Nexus. Victory. That was great. But I think they maybe should have seen like, why would they Spider-Man left? Why wouldn't they Spider-Man right? I think it was uh, readable. We lost that to task mid. 24? Yeah, I think 24 beat us, right? It was a risky move. Locking down New York is great because no one ever plays into New York. Ever. Never, ever. Do I want priority? Not necessarily.
No nebula this time. Shit my ass. Do I want an extra Hulk? Then I can move it left. But they're running Shang, but I just armor. Okay. We might change it up. I think I'm going for an extra Hulk. Keep Jeff alive? I think I do this. Takes priority. Save the raccoon for turn six. X into... I don't... I don't know. No, I think we throw... I, th I think we're going in. We want priority here? The Hulks are really big with New York, yeah. Scorpion. Oh wait, I don't have priority. Because they floated. Ah, oh, shit. If they Shang now... Rip. Do I put her left? I'll put her... I'll put her... I'll put her mid. No, I'll put her left. They never play her left. So she's a 1-3 or something if we go left. Okay, interesting. Well, shit my ass. I forgot that they get to see this. Spider-Man mid. They just played him? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. I might just go more mid. And if they ignore, that's fine. What am I top decking? Magneto, possibly? Spider-Man's a little weak if they know what's coming. This is a tough decision. X left. Pray for Magneto top deck. I don't think X left is the line, never. They can move the Hulks. Magneto mid. Move one Hulk? I'm not sure we want to move a Hulk. If I can move a mid, I would. I think it's just this. Okay, one Hulk. Or what if I just move armor? If I move armor and they don't shang right, I win right, mid, and maybe left. I kind of like this. But my pants are down on right. But they don't know that. They're not going to shang right. Imagine shanging right here. A nebula diff. Chess Bishop is the only bishop. I don't know, Tudzi. I really like uh, the one that was in that bundle recently. Volmi. Yeah. Volmi's great. Dude, Seven is yelling outside. I gotta go check on that guy. I just have to keep Nebula deactivated. He craves the cords. I want to just make sure he's alright. He's not getting into things. I think he's just whining. Do I storm left? I might storm left. No, I think I Spider-Man left next turn. This, I might regret this. I guess X and Spider-Man are kind of the same thing. I do get to see what's going on here. Maybe we Gamora instead? Okay, so this is going to be double power. Holy shit. I think I've lost. Yeah, it's probably Maw, right? Gamora mid, but yeah, if they play... Oh, wait, they can't task mid then. Oh, that's actually the nuts. <laughs> I kind of have to move this over. We're adding 4 and 12. It might not be enough. 16. If this is Maul, they need to add 11 mid. I'm going to risk it. Because, yeah, task. 
is not huge. Task doesn't win. It's only 14 if they task. Nice. That was good. That's kind of the dream last turn with this deck, I think, is like Gamora Raccoon. It's 16 power on a lane. Ooh, Nebula. Do I Nebula left? I feel like Nebula could just win her own lane on the right. Because they want to play in the Baxter, right? Ooh, that's good for Nebula. Any negative decks worth playing? I think negative monkey's completely fine. Ooh, this will go off mid for sure. I could have predicted that, I think. I've been doing real bad with X Mansion lately. Oh. Oh, okay, not anymore. I've won. I snap, they leave. Oh my god, this is disgusting. Oh my god. If I snap, they leave, though. They're gonna leave. But if I don't snap, it might go another couple turns before they leave. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Clear for takeoff. If I leave, they snap? So true. This Daredevil really giving us a bunch of insight here. Could be She-Hulk deck. Yeah, maybe the float doesn't hurt them that much. Because they add six rights. My Nebula adds two, though. So they're two behind. So they still have to float a decent amount. Um, I think I just tempo that. I might even Raccoon now. Because I don't know what I'm talking... If I top deck Gamora... I'm going to wish I held this. But if not, I'm just playing Magneto. So I might miss out on two power. All right. We might miss out. He might have wanted to skip five. It's very true. Okay. That's not very good. Does this win it? Okay. I was actually a little bit unsure. But I will take it. I wonder how long it'll be like that. Playing Nebula right makes it hard for them to counter Nebula and play Anita. Gamora right, good. Protect my Nebula. He's still 6k tokens. It's a lot. When does Jeff get lowered? Oh, wow. Look at them drawing. Oh, that's so good. All right, Nebula just wins that lane. So we got to focus on a separate lane. Spider-Man on four into an X is honestly game winning. I think we have to snap here. Wait. Wait. Psylocke Warlock. They're probably a negative deck? And then Gamora Raccoon wins right. Dude, the Gamora Raccoon is like my favorite part of this deck right now. Yeah, we just win. But we locked in the two cubes uh, before playing the Spider-Man, right? Snapping before this comes out is much different than snapping after it comes out. And if they had played mid with something large, unlike negative, um, we could have moved Jeff over, you know? They could do some naughty stuff right. I could just win left. Yeah, that might be the line. Because Iron Man. Iron unless Man. Uh, Enchantress would actually be our best top deck. Oh. Does this even win left? Because they could Mystique. Or Wong Ironheart. Uh, so we're adding 7 and 12. We win left. 
Gamora Rocket right. I might lose it. If they play uh, Mystique right, this is going to be obscenely high. But these cards are also small, so I think we win left. Magneto left doesn't get as much benefit as playing two cards here. I think we're going for this. Unless they do, like, Wong shit. Wong Ironheart, but they have to hit hard. Alright. Maybe they actually- maybe it was impossible. Alright, that was good. Yeah, Abandoning Right seems to be the call. Let's see, if we played Enchantress Rockets, we would have added... Four... Wait. Ten? We would have added ten Power Right. We would have been at twenty-three. And they would have been at 24. So they would have won. Some people think it's good and some people think it's bad. So I'm here to be one of those people. Who either agrees or disagrees. You lost cubes playing this? That seemed to be the general consensus. Is that he was playing against mostly bots. Okay. Skill issue? It could be skill issue. Oh! Do I storm it now? Do I star lord right? You think I storm it now? Why? I could storm it later. They might witch it. Do you think they're running a witch in a bounce deck? I guess it's possible. I might just do a little bit of this action. Then we can Gamora it if we want. Or we could storm it. Dude, imagine if we just had Killmonger. Okay, uh, maybe we Gamora right, or maybe we just Gamora elsewhere and Storm right. Our left is not even strong, actually. Gamora mid, Storm right? I mean, we'll see where we can place our Gamora based on this. Iceman? Hood. Falcon again. Sentinel Bast. I think I just Gamora left, and then I'll Storm right. I mean, are they planning on doing a big monkey? Oh. I have to win mid. This might just be over, right? He hit his demon. Yeah, I, I think they kind of messed up the order. Left should be one. They're going to lose 10 mid. This is honestly not even great for me. They can get a big monkey. I'm just going to write it out. Okay, looking good. They overcommit, right? They incredibly overcommit, right? All right, we won. Wind aid my hand. Okay, uh They literally could have played one more card left. Even Bast. They kind of overcommitted. But I'm here for it. Um so this deck. I think it's a good deck. I think it is a bot stomper as well, but I think it's just good in general, to be honest. We're also doing a great job of drawing Nebula today. Yesterday we could not do that if our life depended on it. 
Wow, she would have been so good in lab. Oh well. I storm this? What am I doing next turn? I'm just gonna Enchantress. I might want to storm on four into Gamora on five. No, I'm doing it now. They're not playing left. They're playing right because they want to counter Nebula. What the fuck? Wind, aid my hand. Galactus? They have five energy. Next turn, they maybe want a Galactus right, so they're going to play left. So maybe I go for this. They're going to dock the Flood. Or Baxter? If they dock Baxter, we're fine. We just Galact- or we X mid and win. Maybe I should snap. They might leave. This is a very different playstyle than most decks, I think. There's a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. It's not just Galactus. It's not just Ramp, not just Sandman. Good without Jeff. God, I do think Jeff is a star. Alright. 